begin tonight at 5 with new details in a murder inside a library. A young woman stabbed to death while studying. Tonight, the suspect's lawyer says the attack was random. That crime inside the Winchester Public Library has left that community shaken. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. For the first time, we are hearing from a Good Samaritan who was also stabbed trying to save Deanne Kenny Stryker. WBZ's David Roby show is live in Winchester tonight with the latest. Roby. Lisa, that 77-year-old man does not want to be called a hero. He told us today he reached out to the family of Deanne Stryker to express his sympathies. In the meantime, the man accused of stabbing him and killing that young woman is being held without bail. When Winchester police led 23-year-old Jeffrey Yao into court, it wasn't the first time they had him in handcuffs. His neighbors say they've feared him for years. I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. He was a ticking time bomb. Something was going to set him off. And this poor girl. Previously charged with trying to break into a neighbor's home, Yao now stands accused of murder. On Saturday, prosecutors say Yao entered the Winchester Public Library with a 10 inch hunting knife and began stabbing college student Deanne Stryker, who had never met him before. This was a vicious, unprovoked attack with a knife on a young woman in a public place. 77 year old Lester Tabor tried to save Stryker by stepping in front of her, but he too was slashed with the blade. I suffered a, a wound on my arm, uh, approximately five inches long, maybe at the deepest, a half inch. But as you see, it's, it's on the upper shoulder, and uh, I'm going to be fine. Prosecutors say Stryker tried to flee, but Yao chased her, stabbing her up to 20 times. Attorney J.W. Carney, who is the lawyer for Whitey Bulger, has now been hired by Yao's parents. Um, my client's family is devastated that um, after years of dealing with his mental illness, um, he commits this act. Lester Tabor, who has been involved with the library for years, says now it's difficult to feel safe anywhere. It's a tragedy. You can see it can happen anywhere. If it happens here, it can happen anywhere. Attorney, Attorney J.W. Carney says he plans to hire a team of mental health specialists to prove that his client should spend the rest of his life in a maximum security mental hospital. Live in Winchester, I'm David Robichaud, WBZ News.